today for another video recipe. What we're going to prepare today are fried zucchini blossoms. It's a typical appetizer for summertime in Italy when zucchini are blooming a lot. So what you need for this recipe is zucchini blossoms, flour, one egg, beer and salt for your batter and olive oil to fry. So just give me a sec to clear everything and I'll be right back with you. And we'll start opening your egg. I didn't give any salt. I didn't give any quantities because a lot depends on how many blossoms you have to fry and how much your flour thickens your butter. So, beer. It basically has to be um, a thick Better a little thicker than it would be for a pancake So just to give you that idea use cold beer and If you did a, if you're not warming up your olive oil while you're preparing your batter um, Like I am really doing um, Just put your flowers your blossoms into the batter and refrigerate until you are ready to fry because this will give your deep fried items a thermal shock and this will avoid them from absorbing too much oil while frying. Now you have to make enough for all the blossoms. I usually work in increments so if you have any leftover butter I usually deep fry that too so everything is yet fried okay so here it is Nice and thick. We're gonna dredge our blossoms. If you don't have your own um, zucchini plants, you can most likely get the blossoms at the farmer's market. Now, just let me grab a couple spoons and we'll start stirring them until they are all nicely coated. Now, you can also dip your blossoms one at a time this way it's just way faster. Um, if you buy or if you harvest your zucchini blossoms in a Ziploc bag they will last about um, I would say five days in the refrigerator. It all depends on how fresh they were when you get them. So if you pick them up Keep that in mind. If you buy them, you might want to use them a little earlier than four or five days. So we're going to put them in the refrigerator until olive oil warms up in the skillet. And I'll be back with you as soon as ready. Okay, so here we are. We can start. Always make sure 
that your olive oil is at the right temperature. If you don't have a thermometer to measure that, you can just drop a few drops of butter in it and if it nicely bubbly fries, it's ready to go. So see how thick the batter is. This is because it has to stay attached to your blossoms. It's a real quick um, cooking. You have to just turn them a couple times so that it will be nice and golden on both sides. Um, just remember to fry a few at a time so that the olive oil temperature doesn't drop too much. Never add salt while you're frying or you'll end up having a mushy butter. Um, just add your salt into the butter and that's going to be enough. Now in some parts of Italy, they stuff the blossoms with mozzarella and a little piece of anchovies. I have never tried doing that. I've eaten them, but I've never tried doing them. So right now we'll stick with the traditional plain empty ones and then we will figure out how to do the other one. Make sure your blossoms are perfectly dry in order to avoid oil sputtering, which is never nice when you're frying. It can actually be dangerous for you if it hits you. And I will fry these ones and then we will get back together when I'm done frying all of them. So let's see. Almost there. My friend, <clears throat> my friend Renata puts nutmeg in the butter, which actually tastes really good in it. I just didn't have some for this time, so next time I'll do it again. And here we go. Make sure you're draining as much oil as you can when you pull them out. Okay, so I'll keep frying the other ones and we will get back together as soon as I'm done. See you later. And here we are. Since we had a little bit more butter than I actually needed for the blossoms, but you always have to make some more, I made some little puff fritters. The reason why they're so puffed it's thanks to beer because that's sparkling and that's the result. So I hope you will want to try this. Um, you may still be able to find some blossoms at the farmer's market unless you have your own plants as we said at the beginning. Um, keep in mind the secret, real hot oil and real cold butter. That way it will absorb way less oil than it usually would. So there's not much more left to say, so a presto e buon appetito!